Speaks Let's Drive for the very first time. We've got a test and tune today up at Camden Speedway. That's in Camden, Tennessee. I bet it won't be very many people there at first, especially as cold as it is. It's, you know, it's like freezing. <laughs> yeah, it's like 45 degrees with wind out of the north at 20 mile an hour. But hey, we had to go. You got to go when you can go. Yes. So we had to go. But yeah, um, put you out there by yourself. I'll probably have you uh, just start making laps around the middle, just staying in the middle groove of the track all the way around. And then we'll just pick up speed. And at a certain point, as we're picking up speed, you should feel the car start wanting to tuck over and lean to the right and then it's going to start wanting to scrub out on you some to the right i think i've got the car set up free enough and everything where that that works but uh, we're going to find out so y'all stick around
So the first time on the track, I thought it went really well. Um, so we just picked up speed, picked up speed, finally got up to the point, was starting to scrub a little bit on mm -hmm. exit. And of course, you know, I'm on the radio with her the whole time and not really fast enough that you had to do much braking yet, right? No, not yet. Mm -hmm. All right. So what we're going to do this next time when we go out, um, we're waiting and they're keeping other people off the track because they know Rachel's never been on the track before. We got a couple more people that are doing the same thing for today. But um, when we go back out, we're going to get immediately come up to the speed we were at. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to start trying to put more speed in down the straightaway and carry it into the turn. We're going to pick up the throttle. We're going to try to pick up the throttle to the point that we're feeling for that scrub. So we're going to enter into the turn and we're going to feel for that scrub. So we're going to apply throttle, apply throttle, apply throttle to get to that point that we start feeling the car starting to scrub a little bit. Where we got all the side bite we can get. And, and if you applied more throttle, she'd start walking out on you. And you're going to find, and so you're, you're following, keep the steering wheel pointed toward the direction you want to go. So as the tail of the car kind of wiggles a little bit, you keep the steering wheel pointing the direction you want to go. And then the amount of throttle you apply is controlling the back of the car with it going tail out or back under you never let off too much or it'll just all of a sudden lose its set all right so as we do that the car is going to start carrying a lot more speed through the turn so as we're carrying more speed through the turn when we come off and we go full throttle down the straightaway now we're going a lot faster we're going to start having to trail that brake into the turn a lot more so have your foot on the brake, and as you roll in up on that throttle about halfway through, and I'll be on the radio, I'll be saying, okay, start lifting. When I say start lifting, you know you're gonna you're gonna feed some brake in. Okay. So you're gonna feed some brake in, you know. And what we're trying to do is it's not that we're trying to slow the car down to where it was before, but we're trying to make sure that we get the car settled forward on its nose. All right, and we're gonna kind of so we're gonna do this. It's like we're gonna start lifting, and we're gonna trail some brake in, and we're gonna turn, and then we still got the brake, and we're gonna start walking some throttle in. We're gonna walk some throttle in and get out of that brake. We're not gonna just come off the brake because if we because the brake is like holding, got the car kind of like held mm -hmm. up on it. I got some anti-dive in the right front, so it's kind of like holding it, that anti-dive in the right front. So we're going to just like lift on the brake and feed the throttle in, and then you're just going to transition. So then you're just feeding throttle in, feeding throttle in, going right back to that rip. And so the car's going to get faster and faster. You're going to get to a point where that you're going to have to really watch how you brake going into the turn because you'll be carrying too much speed and the car is going to want to start washing out on entry because mm -hmm. you've just got too much speed you haven't broke braked enough or you're braking so much that you're upsetting the car and like you're getting the car to like rotate you know okay. all at once because we're wanting to roll into right. that turn and so you're going to be looking to go faster and faster and faster until you get to that point <laughs>
like just going around the track, like you need to really, when you initially turn in, go more towards the bottom. Much more on the initial entry towards the bottom. But you can't turn early. But when you turn in, it's like you're not following the line around. You're not trying to like just go around the groove. You're trying to like, like when you go in and you're up high, when you go down, you go down. Like you're trying to drive to the bottom of the track initially going into the turn. And I think what's happening is, is you're not doing that. So you're up on this high line, and then you're trying to drive down on the track from the middle out. And you're never going to do it because you're just carrying all this speed up there. And so you're just going to stay on that line or you're going to wash out into the into the loose stuff. I think that's all it is. Did that help on your throttle? Yep. I can definitely feel I'm pushing it down further now. I was getting caught up on it. You didn't realize it. You were pushing against that instead of the throttle. I don't know if the car had more, but yeah, because you came into this turn earlier and you were smoking fast. But it was just, you, you carried, you, you just tried to carry all of that all the way through and the track was just not holding it. I don't think it was you. I think the track was just not open. So it's like if you've got that much speed, you're just gonna have to stay in the brake a little longer. You know what I mean? Okay. You know, and like, you know, get the car broke down a little more, drive down toward the bottom of the track a little more. So. All What do we think about uke tires, Rachel? We don't like uke tires. We do not like mm -hmm. uke tires. We had a good day overall. Went through, progressed, and we were pretty much done running. And I had shut up on the radio and was just letting Rachel turn some laps and stuff. Car got out from underneath her. 
she cut across the infield and caught a uke tire with the right rear and snatched the rear end off of the leaf spring perch on that composite spring looked like it cut into that composite spring pretty good on one side so i imagine it ripped that spring she was struggling to get the car to be able to drive down the track as she was throttling up the car was just drifting and sliding out on her so i added one inch spacer on the right front and um so that i would get the right rear tucked in another inch and then turn around and i went up on air pressure on the right front and up on air pressure on the left rear by two pounds in both of those so i was freeing the car up on entry where i could get her to be able to drive down on the track easier and at the same time put a little more drive in the car when she was coming off um while letting the car roll over a little more by getting that right front stuck out a little bit further than that right rear is getting the car to you know hold that weight transferred over on that exit definitely made an improvement it that did. last time around we were back to her really holding the load in the car and you know throttling up off exit so i'm super happy with that um the heavier spring on the right rear was working for the car i feel like that we were just spot on on the car yeah. on the setup from, from the get-go I mean, because, you know, very minor adjustment and got the car dialed right back in after mm -hmm. the track got slick. So, I was really happy. On the tack, on the gear she was on, I was looking at the tack, and she got up to the point she was turning 6,500 RPMs. She was carrying speed through the turn. Super happy with it. Um, so, yeah. Happy? Happy with it. Happy. Not happy we broke the car, but. Well, that's okay. Go ahead and break it real good right off the bat. Get that out the way. Yeah, now she knows out. how to avoid uke tires. Yes, definitely. Do not hit no. uke tires. Oh, before I forget, me and Rachel has been working on a new website for DirtRaceLife.com. We've went in. I've been working on it. Uh, a lot more information that we're adding to it, making it where it works a lot easier on your cell phone to be able to scroll down through there. Of course, I've got all the links to stuff online that we use on the cars as well. And we've got a blog that I'm running where that like when we're talking about the setups and stuff so on my page now i've got where that i can like put in the setup and like on this weekend and like enter all of that in instead of like trying to put it all in the description for each video and then you go back and look to video instead we'll have a running blog of setups what we're doing what happened all of that so check us out at dirtracelife.com and of course subscribe have your notifications on hey if you want to support rachel hit the like button on this video leave her a comment see you next time see ya